Hello everyone and welcome back to a very special episode of Money Vikings Collectibles. Oh, I say that every time, don't I? Every episode is special and interesting. Okay, well enough is enough. Uh, this is something a little different. I typically do comics and trading cards, specifically magic, flesh and blood, and uh, of course I like comic books. I like the classics and I like the new stuff. Uh, but today I wanted to talk about a very interesting and uh, awesome magazine that I'm sure many of you collectors have heard about, Heavy Metal. Heavy Metal magazine is uh, really an American uh, pop sensation, uh, sci-fi sensation, not pop, I shouldn't say that. <clears throat> it's, a, it's an American sci-fi and fantasy magazine that was started in 1977. It was actually derived from a French underground kind of comic scene uh, and, and previous magazine, and, and it was adopted in the U.S. here in 1977. But it was a place for really groundbreaking fantasy artwork. And I'm going to talk about this uh, current issue in a minute because I'm really um, jazzed about this as a, as a collector's piece. And I'll talk about the artwork, which has a special place uh, in terms of the Lord of the Rings mythology, which is uh, really popular right now, of course, with the relaunch of the new show on Amazon, which I, uh, I started and is, is looking really cool. So I'm so excited about that. But I'll get to that in a minute. But anyway, back to Heavy Metal Magazine. This, uh, you know, this fantasy magazine was really uh, breaking new ground in terms of fantasy artwork. Um, you have the likes of the, you know, the the, the, you know, the icons of fantasy art, you have the Frank Frenzettas, the H.R. Geigers, etc., that were contributors to this magazine uh, in the early days. And some of the vintage books go for thousands of dollars. If you get, there are some key issues that are vintage that go for a lot of money. I don't really have any of those. Um, the other thing I noticed lately is if you check out the heavymetal.com website, it's pretty awesome, and I think they're they're now getting into films, which is really amazing. But anyway, as a sci-fi and a, and a fantasy uh, connoisseur and uh, fan, uh, it's just I just think it's a really really cool magazine, and it's a it's a bit racy as you can see, uh, typically. So it's it's probably more of a mature audience in general. There'd be some gore and a little bit of um, uh, you know other stuff. But anyway, uh, you know, cutting edge artwork. And uh, quite, you know, quite collectible. Uh, just some really interesting stuff going on uh, and some amazing uh, worlds that you can enter uh, with this magazine. So this is a few, ep a few issues that I have uh, collected over the years. And it's pretty random. Uh, some of these are classics. Uh, some are just, um, you know, random issues from the last few years. I did pick this up, I think, in 2009 from uh, Bookman's out in Tucson. If anyone's familiar with that place, it's a really fun secondhand uh, uh, shop with books and comics and magazines and all kinds of cool stuff. So fast forward to today, what I want to talk about are not these past issues. I want to talk about the current issue, which the cover art is absolutely mind-blowing because it's by Greg Hildebrandt, who many of you may know. The Hildebrandt brothers are absolutely amazing. They took comic and sci-fi and fantasy artwork to the next level. And what I mean by next level is they are master painters. They are absolute masters in their craft. Now, I believe uh, one of the brothers has passed on. Uh, you know, they really launched in the 70s. Uh, in the 70s, they did a series of illustrations and paintings of the Lord of the Rings. So look that up online if you're not familiar with it. But you can see his name here, Greg Hildebrandt. And he's been one of my, uh, <laughs> just, I've, I have looked up to these guys for years. Uh, they worked together on their paintings for many years. Uh, it was a very interesting collaborative process between brothers, uh, Greg and Tim. And this one, of course, uh, looks like it's just by uh, Greg Hildebrandt. And you can just see it uh, captures so much of that fantasy ethos. Um, there's so much going on here. You can just imagine uh, thousands of different stories here. Uh, there's just, there's a lot going on. And inside the pages of, of this um, comic magazine, I guess you could call it, are just a lot of really fun, bold uh, adventures and scenarios and sci-fi situations that are always pushing boundaries. Um, I think that's one thing you can say about this magazine is that it, it is uh, continually pushing the boundaries of 
sci-fi and fantasy art. And uh, it's just, in general, just just fun and amazing to see. So um, that's that. I'm going to hold on to this one as a collectible. Uh, some people do collect Hildebrandt art um, uh, and Hildebrandt, uh, you know, uh, paintings and such. Um, not, not originals. Got to be quite a high roller if, if you can afford an original because I bet they'd be really pricey. But those of us who can't afford that can pick up uh, magazines like this, like Heavy Metal, where we can really enjoy their artwork in all its glory. So check out Heavy Metal. There are very collectible issues, and uh, it's uh, just a, a quite an amazing, uh, you know, book, uh, you know, magazine for those who are into sci-fi and fantasy uh, worlds. All right, everybody, have a great long weekend. Stay healthy, stay safe, take care of each other, enjoy those collectibles, and uh, we will talk soon.